It's my first day of Thanksgiving break and I like in bed for a long time. But I just wanted to say that I love listening to my parents talk in there. And that is one thing that I'm going to miss is, you know, being back here and them not knowing that I'm awake and just listen to how they communicate with each other and after all these years, 40, how old am I? 42, 45 years of marriage, they are still in love and still get along, not all the time, but a lot of the time. And now my mom is in there cooking up a storm just because she wants to cook on a Monday. <laughs> she loves making new recipes and sometimes they don't taste good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get up and start my day. I'm gonna take you along with me whether you want to go or not. anything it's not dark it's light it's like 11 o'clock in the morning because I'm giving you my daily vlog okay and I had to come here to order some things for Christmas our Wi-Fi is not looking great right now and I had to order from Miss Mrs. H&H &H country since website I'm sorry my brain's kind of uh, foggy because I haven't eaten in a long time <laughs> and I just had a bunch of blood drawn off out of me and so I'm not myself but anyway I went to Exxon to get some food because I'm starving and talked to this chick she asked me about my sister-in-law and you know several people stopped me to say hello or whatever so I'm like hey hey talking to everybody la, 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 la. and then I come sit down to do this and I realized I had snot dried snot on my nostril and not just a little tiny bit it was a lot do you think anybody told me no people if you see somebody walking around with snot or boogers in their nose and you care about them at all if you are even a mere acquaintance you say hey <laughs> please they might have a little bit of embarrassment at that moment, but that would spare them a bunch of embarrassment from walking around all day with boogers hanging out of their nose. Anyway, I wiped it off. But not before I talked to half the town because everybody goes to Exxon for lunch. Let me show you what I got. This got me good. some tater babies and a good old corn dog. It's not healthy, but I don't care. Let me show you what I'm, I'm doing. I am going to H&H &H Country's YouTube. And I'm going to, aw, look at their little video together. I love it. Mm. I'm going to go to the His Sensi video. Where is that? There it is. I got it. Oops, it pause it. And then I'm going to scroll down in the description. Oh, there it is. To her website. 
And now I'm going to order, wait, make sure her name is, there she is, Belinda Crumley. I'm going to order my mama some, um, a Scentsy warmer, and then I'm gonna order one of both my nieces a bath bomb for Christmas. Really easy to go to websites and like Macy's or wherever and buy your Christmas. But it would be so much cooler if you supported these small businesses. These people, myself included, do this to make money to live. Y'all see the little house I live in. It's cute, but it's small and it's all I can afford. I'm not doing this to live high on the hog. I'm doing this to be able to live. That's all, period, live, dot. And I know that Miss Belinda and, and TJ are doing this so they can get her a car. They're a one car family right now. So everybody has a story like that. So try to buy your Christmas presents from these small businesses. And if you need some websites, I have plenty to show you. <laughs> Please comment below and I will let you know. In fact, I'll put my website and hers in the comment section, not in the comment section, in the description box below. Okay, I'm about to order and eat my lunch and then we'll go to my house and talk to the guys up there and see what all, what the game plan is. Okay, I'm leaving school and I see a big truck at my house. Please be somebody who has cabinets or tile or something cool, but what is that? An 18 wheeler? What the world? No. Is that the garbage man? Oh man. That's a disappointment. <sighs> Who do y'all think it is? Yeah, it's a tree, dude. Crap. I was hoping it was somebody bringing something else to my house. Let's go see what they're doing today. What's a concrete man? Ooh, they're gonna like some concrete. Okay, sorry, it's second forever because I had to talk to those guys about my house. They were giving me the 411 about what happens next. But I know that you wanna see what all is going on and I, I really am happy with what's, what's happened so far. So far, well, I'll just show you as I do. This is still the same. The tile person is coming this week. I don't know, maybe Monday. Hopefully this week. This is the floor in the kitchen. Of course, we don't have cabinets. This guy is coming Monday to start putting cabinets in. He had surgery, but my cabinets are built and ready. He just has been in the hospital. He's an older man, but he does beautiful work, they say. We'll go. This is my office, and it's just been a spare room for all this time, and it was going to be another bedroom, but now I don't guess there's a reason to have another bedroom in here, really. And this goes into my little quad, I call it, my little pod. It's not a hallway. It's just an opening for all the other places in the house. This is my son's room, of course, and these are his beautiful floors. and baseboards, brand new baseboards that go into the closet, both closets. He has two. I should have had this room for me. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? And then this is back into the little pod. And this was a linen cabinet that they had to tear out because of the moisture. It bowed up the doors and you couldn't open the doors anymore. Isn't that fabulous? Of course, the tile we're still waiting on, but this was a rotten spot in the floor, a weak spot. So they fixed that. And then in my room, they touched up all the paint and redid. They had to have my baseboards in my whole house custom made because they don't make these baseboards anymore and they wanted my baseboards to be exactly the way i had them only better and i love it here is one of my closets i just bought that the other day <laughs> 
And here is my other closet. Just glad nothing jumped out at me. And this was where the infamous water heater was. But they put no baseboards and flooring in there. And then here was the terrible tool closet that will now get a bit of a makeover because, you know, unfortunately, I want to tear that out. This is a vacuum cleaner system. You know how they have it all over your house and there are little holes where you can just attach the hose. This is my living room and dining room area. Look at those floors, how pretty they are. Baseboards brand new. And he also touched up paint where I had messed up when I painted. All over the house, all the paint is touched up. All I have to do is fix this right there on the trim. And they're going to dust and clean. They're going to clean off all the walls. You can't see it, but I can. When I get to the side of the walls, there's this layer of dust everywhere from where they've been cleaning. I mean, um, cutting and sawing. So the serve master people are going to clean all that. They're going to come in and clean all the floors and clean all the walls and the blinds. The blinds were nasty anyway. And then we come back into the kitchen. And there you have it. Looking pretty good, huh? So I have been here for about 30 minutes and my mama has texted me about seven times. And I know it's because they're worried. You know, once something like this happens to your family, you're just on edge. And I'm cautious, guys. I'm not gonna just stay out late at night into the darkness and walk around unarmed and, you know, be dumb. I'm gonna take care of myself, but they're just a little, being a little overboard. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and they're all like, where are you, where are you, where are you? I said, I've got stuff to do. So I'm gonna go home and cook some chicken and dumplings for my friend because her mother had surgery and she's having to take care of the entire family and you know, that's just what we do. We cook and we give food when people are hurting. <laughs> Maybe I'll have you watch me cook some chicken and dumplings. They're so good. Well, I walked into my parents' sunroom and I came upon just a few little scraps of like some, a turkey package and like a Ziploc bag and I could tell that BA, my brother and my slash my parents boxer had maybe gotten a treat out of the garbage. Then I came up these stairs to this. Oh my. BA, did you do that? Marley Moe. Did you do that, B.A.? B.A. We don't get in the garbage. No. No. We do not get in the garbage. No. Well, as you can see, I did not film any more of Monday yesterday. When I got home, I started cooking and people started filing in and I should have just set my phone up and let it record so you guys can meet all my people. They're pretty good people, period. We're a little overwhelming, I will not lie. But, to say the least, everything went well. We had, Chisholm brought home two buddies from school and they are the nicest kids. I love when he does that, y'all. You, I, only mothers of boys can understand this. When they bring home a group of guys and you get to cook for them and take care of them and I just love it and there's no feeling like it, especially when you're used to having a house full all his whole little life. We had a house full and now it's just so quiet and empty. So he, brought them home and they're gone again and he said his date went well and she's a real cute little girl he said he wasn't quite ready to bring her home to meet the family <laughs> I wonder why 
If I showed you anything last night, you would know why. Even the most seasoned people are a little taken aback by my loud family. But I love them and they're my family, so you know, you can't pick your family. I feel very blessed to have them. Anyway, so I'm off to do more running. A teacher's breaks are never r restful. They're always full of appointments that you can't take when school's in session. So I'm off to another one and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.